Summer heat brings summer bugs. The U.S. has seen a rise in cicadas this year, although they're rare in the Pacific Northwest. We have seen a rise also in uh, murder hornets, which are in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't need to be too concerned about those here just yet. There is, though, another bug that health officials say you do need to worry about. Ticks. Those small little brown bugs that could spread a lot of disease. Mm -hmm. yeah, joining us with more on how you can protect your family is Dr. Emilio Devez, state public health veterinarian from the Oregon Health Authority. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good, good. Thank you so much for joining us. This is an important topic yeah. this time of year. Mm -hmm. Is it tick season now for Oregon and, and Washington? You know, it is. Ticks are a little bit more active now uh, during the warm uh, days. So yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not a good thing to get bitten by a, a tick. I, no. I've known people personally who've gotten Lyme disease after something like this. So talk about, you know, just the various things that can happen if you do get one of these bites. Yeah, so as people get out and go out hiking, go uh, on walks, et cetera, they're gonna encounter ticks, right? That's, um, ticks are present, uh, the deer tick and Lyme disease is present on the west side of the state. So along the Cascades all the way to the coast. And ticks are, they're fascinating animals. They have a, what we call a questing behavior. They actually, sense people coming and they actually grab onto individuals. So they sit, they actually sit on the, on the, at the end of a leaf, at the end of a uh, blade in which they can actually then grab onto somebody and then they'll go on to bite and transmit Lyme disease. So this is a way of not only transmitting Lyme disease, but also uh, getting a blood meal, which is what they need so they can have uh, more ticks and keep their uh, process going. So if you find a tick on, on you or on one of your family members, what, what should you do? What is the best way to get them off? Because that's not easy. And then do you need to follow up with a doctor? What steps should you take? Yeah, there's a lot of remedies out there uh, on, the, on the internet about how to remove a tick. Obviously, the key would be to talk to your clinician about removing a tick. I think uh, the, the key to success is actually grabbing onto the mouth parts of the tick and pulling that out. Most people grab onto the body and then they actually squeeze Lyme disease into your body. So it's, you have to be very careful how, on how to remove the tick. Uh, and that has to be done probably by a physician uh, so that they know how to remove that mouth part so the tick can come out and not cause not only Lyme disease, but also an infection if parts of the ticks are left in your body. Wow, that's a gnarly process, it sounds like. All yeah. right, well, that video. Ooh, ooh, okay. <laughs> Just what I want to see in the morning. Yeah. Important to know, though, yes, for sure. Yes, definitely. Dr. Emilio DeBest from the Oregon Health Authority, thanks so much for this important information. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah.